to follow some breaking news we told you about earlier in our newscast. That's right. The mother of missing teenager Brittany Wood has been arrested and charged with child sex crimes. Chessie Wood joins five other relatives and a family friend with similar charges. We want to check back in with Fox 10 News reporter Andrew Perez, who has much more on this story. Andrew, what's going on? Yeah, Bob Lanise, again, Chessie Wood is charged with a very horrific, very shocking crime. Like you mentioned, she's the mother of Brittany Wood, who's been missing for more than a year now. I think you guys uh, can take a look at her mugshot. She was booked in just at around 6 o'clock this evening. She's facing two counts of sodomy and also a child sex abuse count. Now, I want to take you guys back live here. I'm actually joined right now by Brittany Wood's stepmother, who's been a big part in searching for this uh, missing mother. Were, were you shocked when Chessie Wood was uh, arrested earlier today? I was shocked at the actual arrest. Um, I kind of felt it was coming with her statement that she made about uh, not taking the lie detector test. Um, I didn't know if there ever was going to be any more arrests. We've been hearing that there was going to be some since November 29th when Wendy was indicted. Uh, I'm very shocked that it is Chessie. Uh, things are starting to click. I don't want this to take the focus away from Brittany. This is not going to take my focus away from Brittany. My goal is the same as it's always been. I'm looking for Brittany. I do believe it's connected. I do believe that the sex crimes and all is going to lead back to Brittany. I believe Brittany was a big part in it. Uh, I believe that they possibly shut her up. Yeah, absolutely. Now, another thing is, do you think this arrest, is it going to uh, get in the way of, uh, of Brittany's case? Oh, absolutely. Uh, nobody's going to know who to trust. They're, they're not going to know if her mother's involved. Well, is her father involved? Is her stepmother involved? Is the baby's daddy involved? But I'm here to tell you, the police have never come to us, uh, her father or I, asked us to take any lie detector test, which we would gladly do. We have no knowledge of the sex crimes. The only knowledge we have is what we heard from the family when it all first came out and then from the arrest going on. Now, I mean, were you shocked when you saw just, I mean, we're talking seven people now arrested for this, and there are still more that, that could be coming sometime in the future. Did you ever expect that it would be that big uh, on the, the Woods side of the family? No, I did not. And I also think with it being this big, why is it not, why doesn't this turn Brittany's case into a criminal investigation? This is not an involuntary missing person as they have her listed. There's too much surrounding her. We need the ABI or the FBI to get involved. We, Mobile, obviously, with it going through all these counties, we're talking Mobile County, Mobile City, Baldwin County. We need more, somebody that has more jurisdiction. Obviously, they need help. I'm asking, we need help. We need help finding Brittany, bringing her home, so we can lay her to rest if that's, what, if, if that's what's happened to her. Thank you so much, Stephanie. I really appreciate you coming out. Now, again, Chessie Wood, she was arrested a little bit earlier today, just a couple of hours ago, charged in uh, a, a separate child sex investigation with a different victim. We're told that she will stay in jail without bond until she faces a judge. That date has not yet been set, but we'll, of course, let you know when that is. For now, reporting live outside Mobile Metro Jail, I'm Andrew Perez. Back to you.